So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this radar in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get started. Now I'm going to create a new timeline for this. And I have this image of a fire in a forest. So I'm just going to use this as the background. And let me just zoom in so that this fits the whole scene. And now you need to drag in your fusion composition. Head over to the fusion page and over here drag in a background connect the background to media out and make sure you click on your background and press Control space at the same time and search for grid now select this grid don't select the grid warp just select the grid and now here we have the grid so over here in the grid section change the row cells to one column cells to one as well and change the major line spacing to zero now keep the red at one Change the green to 0 0.8 and blue to 0. Also change the major line width to 0 as well. Now change the zoom to 0 0.94. Now change the horizontal line width to 0 0.005 and do the same thing for the one for the width as well 0 0.005. Now go ahead and select your grid and press control space and search for grid once again. And once again, select the same grid. But this time, let's go over here and change the row cells to 30, column cells to 7, and major line spacing to 0. Change the red to 0 0.6, green to 0 0.3, and blue to 0. And change the zoom to 1.08. So go ahead and add in this merge node and add in a text connect the text with the merge and over here just add in this vertical line now leave five spaces and then add another one so one two three four five and then add another one and then do the same thing add another one so let me just do this again add another one and now what you can do is just copy this and paste it a, a few times so I'm just going to paste this and these are basically uh, 27 of them. So I'm just telling you so that you can also follow along and now go over to layout and change the type to circle. Change the size to or let's just go back to text and then first of all change the text size to 0 0.05. Go over to layout and change the size to 0 0.685. And I'll also change the width to 0 0.4 double A. All right, and now let's go back to the text and change the color to this yellow. And now we're going to drag in another text. Connect this text right here. And this time we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to leave only one space this time. So one space, and then we add this. So I'm just going to paste this. And these are at 108 times. So just giving you as a uh, shortcut, you can also go ahead, type in it, Type this in 108 times, but that's up to you if you want to do it less, but that will be up to you if you can adjust this or not. So that's up to you. It's not something you actually need to do. You don't need to type this in 108 times. You just, you can adjust this with a few of them. So right now for the text, I'm going with 0 0.03 and the color once again, yellow, but this time a little light. So let's go over to layout and change the type to circle. Change the size to 0 0.667, the width to 0 0.504. And if we zoom in now, so this is how it will look. So this is up to you. You can adjust this according to how you want this to be. Just make sure that this looks aligned. Now, the next thing is another background. So let's drag in and this time an ellipse. Connect the ellipse with the background and background with the merge tool. So go over to the ellipse and change this to unselect the solid and change the border width to 0 0.01. And let's go over to background and change this to yellow. So go back to the ellipse and let's just change this to 0 .05, 0 0.005 and then right click on the width, select expression and connect it with the height. Now change this to 0 0.3 or 0 0.3. 3 so that this is right up 
here and let's change the border width to 0 0.001. So we're going to add in another ellipse and this time let's drag in this background and I'm going to change this to gradient. So over here for this one, I'm going with a red one. And for this one right here, I'm going with orange one. So let's connect this to the merge three and let's add in this ellipse once again. Let's copy the same settings from here and paste it in this ellipse and connect the ellipse with this background. And this time I'm going to go over to the height and let's change this to 0 0.25. So let me just add in another ellipse, connect this right here and paste the settings right here. So this time let's go with 0 0.25. 0 0.25 and let's add in another one right click paste in the same settings and connect this with the ellipse at the bottom and then let's go with 0 0.2 and once again add in another one connect this with this one right click paste settings paste settings and this time let's go with 0 0.1 one five and okay so let's change the fourth one to zero point one five and the fifth one let's change this to zero point one all right and now let's drag in this fast noise and connect this with the merge so this will add like give us a different sort of a shape something like this all right once you're done now we need now we need to add this background so that we can create our radar the actual radar that will spin and now let's add in this polygon connected with the background and right here i'm going to zoom in i'm going to add this point right here and let's go over to somewhere around here add a point right here and connect this with this one and make sure this point in the center is actually at the center so you can adjust this all right and now let's go ahead and connect the background with the merge 4 and this is how it will look now select these two points from here make sure you select your polygon then select these two points from here and then click on this smooth and this will smooth this and now go over to soft edge and change this like this and now select these both points and then move them inwards so that this is something like this it looks something like this and make sure you select your background press Control space and search for blur and i'm just going to go with this directional blur so select this one and now you can change the blur size so i'm just going to keep this right here and the angle right here all right and now for the animation we're going to move this up and select your directional blur and then click on this transform now over here we need to create a keyframe at angle and this will be at zero go over at 60 and change this to 360 and now go all the way to the end and just what you can do is just add in this star sign and then two and this will multiply it by two so we have 720 or you can just type in 720 that's up to you and if you play this right now this is how it will look so this is anti-clockwise what you can do is just change this to let's say negative so go over here or add 60 and you can just type in negative 360 and then go over here and then once again negative 720 so let's see how this looks all right and now you can see this is moving in the opposite direction All right, and now let's go over to the background and change the alpha to zero. And if you go back to your main timeline over here, you will see that we have our radar. And now you can select your footage or your image in the background and change the opacity from here so that we can see our radar as well. So let's play this. And here you can see this looks perfect. So this was it for the video. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you.
in the next one.